Heads up displays for your car and your motorcycle. Get inside a fireworks show and mood lighting for Netflix. I'm John P. Stop what you're doing. Hey, I'm about to ruin the image and the sound you're used to. Look here, I love that Humpty song. This episode of Geek Meet is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Okay, let's begin in the UK. Back in May, Colin Furze turned himself into Pyro from X-Men with wrist-mounted flamethrowers. And we figured no way would this crazy YouTube mad scientist top that. Well, we were clearly wrong because Colin has now created a ridiculous looking fireproof suit that allowed him to stand inside a fireworks show and live to tell about it. His suit is made of steel, though his balls are clearly brass. Please, kids, don't try this at home. Nice. <laughs> okay, on to some more practical safety clothing, like the world's smartest motorcycle helmet, available for pre-order now for just under $1,500 at Indiegogo. Now, at this price, you're probably thinking, this helmet better have a boatload of tech on board, and sure enough, it does. Rear-facing ultra-wide-angle camera to eliminate blind spots, plus built-in GPS navigation, all projected onto your visor's heads-up display. Yeah, this basically turns you into Robocop. Thank you for your cooperation. Want more? Okay, how about... Bluetooth hands-free voice activated phone interface with music streaming and an interior lining that reduces perspiration up to 75%. It's called the Scully AR1. Scully, get it? Ah. With shipment planned next summer. We got the link for you at geeky.tv forward slash 897. If you're more into four wheels than two, consider the $299 NavD heads-up display for your dashboard. NavD interfaces with your iOS or Android device to project GPS navigation in front of you along with incoming messages. It gives you voice and gesture control of your phone and plugs into your vehicle's data port for power and additional real-time data. Navdi sold a million of these when pre-orders began earlier this month, and with the window closing in just a few days, if you want the 40% discount, you'll need to follow the link on our website. The bad news? Shipment isn't expected until early 2015. And you know how these kinds of things often get wildly delayed. I don't know what y'all talking about. So by now, you know that the Geek House is partially fueled by Verve energy drinks. <laughs> but have you heard about Verve 2? It's not a drink, but a staff pick at Kickstarter that has blown way beyond its initial goal with about a month left to go. So what is it? Basically, a conduit to the Internet of Things. Connect a sensor into Verve or log sensor data in real time on any device over the net. No programming or hacker experience needed. Helpful? Yes. Necessary? Not really. But for $45, they'll ship you one in November. Fine, you're saying, but what do you do with it? Well, here's an example from the folks at Jawbone who visualize data from Northern California wearers of their UP smart bands the morning of the recent 6.0 Napa quake. The Jawbone UP data shows everyone 15 miles from the epicenter jolted awake at 3.20 a.m. 45% of those users would stay up the rest of the night, and who can blame them? Stop cramping my style, man. Speaking of being jolted awake at night, the last thing anyone wants is to get woken up at 3.20 a.m., and it could be worse than an earthquake, like a call from the authorities about an accident in the middle of the night. You know, nobody ever gets in their car thinking, I'm drunk, I'm driving, let's go kill someone tonight. They think, I've had a few drinks, but I'm okay to drive, or I only live a few minutes from here. And they think like that right up to the moment they kill someone. Every year, on average, more than 10,000 people are killed by drunk drivers. Cops all across the U.S. are cracking down on drunk driving, especially from now till Labor Day, and they'll see you before you see them. So drive sober or get pulled over. Also, Santa will put you on the naughty list. Hey, that will make a man snap like a twig. Finally, 
Leave it to some bored engineers at Netflix to hack those Philips Hue light bulbs into a light show that changes color based on the movie you're watching at the time. Yeah, I want that. No, honey, I'm not watching porn. I don't know why the whole house is bathed in crimson. Look, you boys need supervision. Okay, maybe not such a good idea. So there you have it, a cornucopia of tech ideas, ranging from the intelligent, that'd be the verb too, to the insane. Which brings us back to my friend in England uh, with the handheld flamethrowers and firework resistance suit. I have got to meet this guy. I'm John P. Amen. Is everyone around here is so fine. Lenses that we use all the time from Rokinon that are cine lenses and look stunning.